Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nermek, welcome back to more of Persona 4 Golden. And uh, we're cruising at the end of August, because, uh, well, yeah, we absolutely have Blitz through this month. But, as it stands, uh, we are still trying to get our education, uh, whatever it's called, knowledge stat up. Uh, because we unlock a new social link, uh, come the new term, and, uh, yes. Um, I know it's stupid to spend time actually doing homework, but I, uh, I do wish to, uh, spend, uh, what's it called? So yeah, we get, we get three knowledge instead of two, which is nice. I want to spend a day doing that, and then I'm going to do the remainder in the evenings if I can. Oh, I don't think you're punished for not finishing it, but, mm. We also did a Grease Help Nanako with, um, hers. So, um, I have to write these three proverbs for my homework. Um, I know one, a rolling stone gathers no moss. That always tells me that one. Ooh, okay, there is somebody at the door. Yosuke and Teddy came by. We had a little event going on at June yesterday. Here's a souvenir for you. Oh, you're doing your homework? I feel sorry for you. All right, I'll help you, Nana-chan. Uh, Proverbs. Ooh. Oh, I have one. Uh, Kogito Aerosum. <sighs> What'd you pick that up? Don't cast pearls before swine is more like something you'd say. Yosuke and Teddy helps Nanako finish her homework. You became closer to everyone. Gonna become closer to Yosuke and the Nanako. After putting Nanako to bed, you said goodbye to Yosuke and Teddy and went to your room. Sick? Yeah, so we're gonna power through uh, these next few days. And then, ooh, summer break will be over soon. There's some homework left for what's there to do today. Re realistically, I was gonna say we do social links today and then I noticed... Ah! Awesome! Um, it's raining, so... Obviously we can't do any, uh, hangouts, but it's fine. Because again, I want my knowledge leveled up. So I'm happy wasting a few social link days if it means I can do this. So, I have to write an essay about something I remember. Hmm... Is someone here today too? A Chie and Yukiko came by. I heard from Yosuke that Nanako-chan's doing her homework, so I'm here to help you. You're writing an essay. Have you decided on a topic, Nanako-chan? Not yet. Well, let's see. How about the time we went to the festival together? That's right, the Ikiaki was so good, I don't know what that is. Is that, is that the ball things? Yeah. I had so much fun. So Nanako begins writing her essay, Chie and Yukiko helped out, you became closer to everyone, close with Chie, close with N Nanako. Not with Yukiko. That may be because I turned her down last episode, but we don't mention that. Mm. Anyway, so my break will be over soon. There's some homework left. What do you want to do today? And here we go. Oh, hello? It's me, do you mind hanging out with me today? Um, sure. Yeah. I don't see why not, honestly. And let's go with Cheech and see what's going on. Because it's been a while since we've hung out with us, so... Might as well make the most of summer while we can and do a few social linky things here and there. So, Sozai Daigaku. You finished today's training and came here with Chie. Have you tried the steak skewers? The meat is tender and delicious, and they hardly cost anything. It might not even be cow meat. Ugh, I'm just thinking about it, that's kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the police are here. And then this place really is serving fake meat? Excuse me. Oh yes, I haven't eaten any of the meat today, I swear! <laughs> Lately, there's been several incidents with a group of teenagers bullying people around here. Huh? <laughs> bullying? Extortion, if you will. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Yeah, no, no one in particular. Mm, I see. Well, you to be careful, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't the meat. But still, bullying? Oh, <laughs> cowards ganging up on the weak like that. Exactly. It's so cruel and stupid. Chie is outraged. And we'll grab him and make him apologize, right, leader? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Chie looks happy. Moving down villains and saving the weak, a lone female fighter stands. To protect the town's peace, she throws herself into the battlefield, unbeknownst to all. Ooh, yeah, that sounds cool. Now you can leave it to me. Hmm. Is it just me or is the character sprite? For Chie, a bit blurrier than normal. I don't know. Uh, though I'd feel better about it if you helped. And it'd make me kinda happy. Chie seems somewhat embarrassed. Do you feel your relationship has grown deeper? And that brings us up to rank 6. Okay, so further along than I thought I was. So Chariot Arcana has grown, and even though we don't use Chie, we've got Revolution. Um, we'll do. We'll get rid of Rebellion. I don't really like depending on critical hits that much. Oh. So, all right, first, let's eat. Don't think, feel. Right? Or in this case, would it be don't eat, think? 
He walks back home with Chie eating steak skewers. Hell yeah! And in the evening... Nanako time. So, you decide to look over Nanako's homework? Uh, for today's homework, I have to write a book report. I actually finished reading the book, so I just need to write about it. The king goes deep into the forest, and... Nanako puts a lot of effort into her book report. He was all alone, so he wasn't angry or sad. The king said he was happy, but I feel sad for him. Uh... Do you feel happy when you're alone? It depends. I see. Maybe I should write about you, too. Hmm. <laughs> Can't exactly say no, considering she's left at home most days. But finished the report, went to bed, and... See, the thing is, we didn't even get any social, like, uh, what's called knowledge points from this, and it's like, oh, the misery. Anyway, homework time. Please level up. I just want to hear the level up prompts, because... God, I wanna, I really wanna do the social link of the person that we haven't run into yet. So, you decide to look over Nanako's homework. I'm doing my art homework today. I have to make something out of stuff I find in the house. A milk carton, a paper towel tube, a knitting wool, origami paper. What else do we have? Is someone here today too? Risa and Kanji came by. Uh, senpai said Nanako-chan was doing her summer homework. You should have told me. But it looks like I picked the wrong day to come. I can't do any of this art stuff. <laughs> me neither. Huh, let me see what you got. Can she carefully craft something with incredible detail, and create something that no elementary student could make? You became closer to everyone, you feel you're going to become closer to Kanji, Risei, and Nanako. After putting Nanako to bed and saying goodbye to Risei and Kanji, you went to your room. On plus 28th, we are going to run straight into September. Summer break will be over soon, there's some homework left, what's there to do today? Okay, well, we'll accept this call to go out, because there are a few more rainy days. Hello, it's Risei. Are you bored today, Senpai? Let's go somewhere. Sure. I mean, look, we know she's going to rank up, thanks to her last night. So we'll get, we'll get in our bang for our book, you see? It's like, ah. Like, I guarantee there'll be a strategy somebody's got out there to make sure that, like... You know how, like, um, sometimes you've got to hang out with them to, before they rank up again? Somebody for, like, a speed run or, like, optimal strategy will have a way to, like, what's it called? Like, uh, when they hang out with Nanako, like, somebody must have thought of a way to, like, have everyone on no social link points, or just enough so that every single person is ready to hang out with, like, at the bare minimum. And get, get the most out of it, I mean. Anyway, <laughs> tangent aside, you decided to walk Risei home after reaching at Aya. Yeah, the flavour was a little strong, but it was good. My grandpa's food is kind of bland. The tofu is good for you, so... There is a suspicious man in front of Risei's house. Oh. Is that a reporter? Or a stalker? Risei is worried. Um... Let's, let's grab a random run, that's a fun That's a fun thing to do. Uh, that's alright, we don't know if he's really dangerous or not. Let's just wait and see, okay? But thanks for that. Risei no longer seems worried. <laughs> ah, but still, that guy, where have I... No <laughs> in Noe, son, is that you? Oh, Risei Chan. Oh, how do I voice him? Because he's like, clearly in his 40s. But like, he looks like he's in his 20s. Oh, well, well, why are you here? I already settled everything with the agency. Oh, I'm here because personally I can't accept that. I've watched over you this entire time as your manager. I'm no longer a personality. My private time doesn't belong to a manager anymore. Go home, and if you don't, I'll call the police. Oh, wait, do you think because it's over? I strongly believe that another actress can play the role better than Risei Kujikawa. Your fans are looking forward to the movie too. You still want me to act? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm through with it. I have nothing to do with showbiz and all that stuff now. I... I've decided to... Okay, yeah, and I think I need my input on that personally, and the answer's no. I've said before it was only hiatus, but I've changed my mind. There's no way I'm coming back. This is the real me. Oh. Risei's desperate. You sure go along with it? But I sure I'm like solely for the social link points. I'm aware this is digging my own grave. You went along with the story. See, I told you. Risa looks relieved. <laughs> I understand. I'll go home for today. But I, I'll go away now. If this series has shown me one thing, it's that I cannot voice female characters for the life of me. Oh, that was in no way, Sam. He was my manager. I'm his daughter's age, so he treated me like one of the family. Uh, but he's a stranger now. 
Uh, senpai, um, no. Uh, I'm thinking about marrying you and all. I don't mind. Senpai. You're so mature, it's like, look, I just gotta like, be non-committal and pretend, haha, funny joke, so she doesn't think anything more. So, you really are a nice guy. Uh, th this isn't good, I feel like I'm gonna depend on you even more. Uh, just kidding! Perhaps due to her relief, Rizu Say is smiling sheepishly. You feel your relationship has grown deeper. Wonderful. Bringing us up to rank four. Okay, what quirky shit are we gonna get now? Please, please be something like immensely broken. Right, effective persona. Third eye. When selecting a target, you can check to see whether the attack will be effective or not. And that should be base game, but you know, sure. I'll, I'll, I will take, I will take it. I wish I could spend more time with you, but I'll save it for next time. See you later. And then, and then she vanished into the void, never seen again. Rest in peace, Risa. Okay, so we've got. No, I need. I need her to make this game bearable. So, I have to write a paper about my favorite animal. Which one should I choose? Oh, I know. There's a picture of it on that shirt that Dad bought. What's it called? A platypus? I'll write about platypuses. Nanako eagerly begins researching platypuses, but she doesn't need, seem to need any help, but you make sure she's on the right track. The platypus lays eggs, and they have poisonous claws. Question, is it the male or female platypus that has the poison claws? Okay, Phineas and Ferb. Female. Bzz, wrong. I'm surprised this one you don't know, big bro. No, that was my point. That was my chance to get more points, but no. Anyway, it's rainy day, which means still have some homework left. Would be best if I worked on it today. Forces me into it. And wait, fine, fine. It forced me into doing it, but I'm not complaining. I was gonna do it anyway. So, you decide to look over Nanako's homework. This is the last thing I gotta do for my homework. I just need to write a picture diary. Um, big bro and dad. Uh, let's see, August 27th, uh, I don't remember the weather. Big bro, did it rain the day we worked on my art homework? Uh, it was raining all day, I believe. Was it? Hmm, Nanako seems puzzled. Big bro and his friends helped me a lot with my homework. They were so nice, I like them so much. No, 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 don't look! Nanako has finished all of her summer homework. After putting Nanako to bed, you went to your room. Okay, so we're, so we're free uh, now. I think we've got a few more days left until it ends. Or is this? I don't know. Good morning, Senpai. It's me, Rise. Okay, did you know that the fireworks festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. Uh, let's get everyone together. Okay, I'll call the rest of the guys up. Don't forget about tonight. I don't think I can. I feel the game will make sure I end up going. Ooh. Big bro, are you there? I'm gonna play at Monachan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. You wonder if Nanako knows about the fireworks festival. You tell Nanako you'll be going with the fireworks festival with your friends. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad. But he said he'll try and come home for it. I'm glad to hear that. Uh-huh. I'll go with Dad. So we'll see you there. Fair enough. You decide to leave Nanako to Dojima and go to the fireworks festival with your friends. Fair enough. Sounds like a fun time. That's tonight, though, so do we have the day free? Oh, no. Okay. You and your friends arrive at the hill overlooking the town. Pretty thin here. The riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I passed by the mountainside a lot. Customers asked me about it too. I wonder if Nanako chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Sure we can. 
His karma caught up to him. <laughs> Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke Senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanako's at him. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? <laughs> Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Secret savings. For a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. You mean guys can't save Riso? Teddy? <laughs> what a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. I don't think he can. I think he's flat. I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. <laughs> Quit reopening this morning's wounds. <gasps> oh. Big bro. Hey, Nanako-chan. Looks like Dojima-san made it in time. Yeah, Dad came home early. I'm happy for you. Yep. Nanako seems happy. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. A dachi. Hey there, little lady. Want to launch some fireworks of love with me? How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Tojima-san to haul you in? <laughs> <laughs> Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? That's awesome! Pretty! Wow! Have fire! Have No, 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 don't listen to him! <laughs> Oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Oh, that was nice. Been a while since we've had an anime cutscene, actually. I think you enjoyed the fireworks festival. That concludes our program for the summer fireworks festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too! An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Mm -hmm. I'm so <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye bye, Nana chan! Bye bye. The fireworks were great, but I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm alright with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more, more bittersweet and stuff. Right? True. It was completely different. W wait a sec. What does that mean? What are you comparing it to? Did did you go with someone else the next day? <gasps> Chat activities. 
What's wrong, Risei Chan? You seem fidgety. Your face seems awfully red, too. Hmm? Uh, does it? Dude, seriously? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh, yeah. Should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... Uh, you mean Naoto Shirogane? Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. <laughs> he's going to appear out of a bush in like Maybe two seconds. Working on another case in some faraway town. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy too. He might have been a roadblock in the <laughs> other ways. He ain't wrong, is the thing. You really do only think about girls, huh? Yeah, like, if, if Naoto was real, no no one by him would be in a relationship. He would steal every woman alive. Alright, you ate a light dinner with the others, then went home. Now, Naoto, show up. Please! Oh, you finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. Oh fuck yes. For us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Call so Naoto over? And your other friends can come? Nadako seems to want everyone to come. You decide to give them a call. Beep 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 beep. Hell, oh, is this the Shiragane residence? I have a watermelon. Oh definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. Damn. I kinda want a watermelon now. And it's healthy for me too. God. Mmm. I really want watermelon now. Right. Okay, Nanako may have been a factor in their decision as well. Everybody is here. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff hey, man, country. this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The bridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I wanna do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. Teddy, shut up. Makes no sense at all. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of you. I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Welcome home. <laughs> Let's split the watermelon open. Say what? Ah, well, you see. The watermelon was already cut and shared with the neighbors. Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? Kanji, are you sorry. salting a it watermelon? To me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded! Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year, too? Of course we will! You betcha! You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep, thank you! Aww. The fun time slowly passes by. Eventually, everyone went home. Nanako must have gotten tired too, it seems she already went to sleep in her room. Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. 
The case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, you really made some great friends. I know. The sun set peacefully. And that brings us into September. There's like three songs I vibe to all called September and they are sick. Anyway, today's the first day of the school term. You should hurry to school. I apologize for whatever demon accent left my throat then, but... Morning! You know. Good morning. Oh, summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. Vacation was pretty long. It was like two episodes. Not that long. Sheesh. <gasps> oh my god! You? You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. Thank you, Lord. Oh. My name is now told. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on if the I, spot. If, if I had a webcam, you would uh, see the fact I'm saluting. High school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. There are some family-related issues as well. So I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, Senpai. Senpai? That detective boy's our underclassman? You would think he'd be a third year, but no. No, he's younger than you, and he knows everything better than you too, and it's... Mm. Anyway, so they got the guy over summer break. It was sad to know he was a student I once taught. You gotta watch out for unjustified resentment, guys. I'm sure you know what I mean. You all watch gossip shows. You don't know who has a grudge against you. My advice, train your body regularly so you can fight back. You need exercise and meat to train your body. Young people, eat meat. Alright, now sudden question about meat. Hey, an Arkami. Venison is the meat or what animal? Um... Okay, it's gonna be all of the above. You gave the answer you thought was right. That's right, I'm surprised you knew venison is the name for any game meat. That includes wild boar, deer, moose, reindeer, and even sometimes a rabbit. It comes from the word venor, which means to hunt, but nowadays people really only use it to refer to deer meat. Speaking of outdoor experiences, the school trip is next week. I hope you get the chance to get some yummy meats. But be careful not to eat everything that has a hide behind a code name, though. <laughs> you answered correctly. Your knowledge is increased. Yes, yeah, normal. I don't know what day this school trip starts, by the way, and I'm probably going to save that for next episode so it can be self contained. And it's. Ooh. We'll see how it goes. Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so. Empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just. Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto Kun to join us? Oh yes, please. Oh, well, I just thought since he doesn't know anyone. Yet, Sorry, I like Naoto. Feel lonely. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness, because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. There's that, and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, who will show you around? There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun, how's it going? Oh, um... 
Hey guys. What's up? Uh, well, we'll be going now. So we meet again. May I help you? Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Come with... you mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well, that's that then. Let's hang out some other time. Hmm, curious. But, what you gonna do about it? Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasugami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... Hmm. This place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, it's just Junas. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're going to visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Oh, yeah. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys around. <laughs> but we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the campout. They're going to combine the first and second years. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great. I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Some people were against the proposition, but... It's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons. Just the kind of thing he'd come up with. No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? No, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about this trip. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. Huh. You made that sound like you were being philosophical, yet it made absolutely no sense. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting ahead. Um, yeah, I had to take a phone call during that cutscene, so I apologize if some parts weren't voiced uh, when they needed me to. Yeah, but no, I've been messing around with things, so I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but the texts and sprites this episode have been a bit weird, so I'm, uh, I don't know what this means. I'm not sure what anisotheric filter is, but I'm just gonna hope that this looks, um, better. 
I don't know, is this, is this better? Does, okay. Yeah, Nanako still looks slightly blurry. If any of you know how to fix that, do let me know. And then we shall see. Uh, but, hello, Mr. Plant. I'm gonna go harvest these vegetables, and then, again, we need to make it through to the evening of the 7th. And that should, I believe... What's it called? Um, what seedling will you plant? So we'll do barrier corn. Yeah, they'll get through to the 7th save, and then next episode can be the school trip. Nice and exciting, a little bit of like content, and then we uh, get into the next dungeon, I think. Which is nice, it's cool. Now we could hang out with Nanako, but again, because we're going to go to the next dungeon, I, I'm actually going to study. I know. You received a text message, it's from Yukiko. Do you like scary movies? There's this new horror movie out called One Missed Text. I don't think anyone wants to see it with me, but I don't want to see it alone. If you want to see it, call me, please. The movie Yukiko wanted to watch is now being shown at the theatre. Okay, well, we're taking her. Like, if, if I have free time tomorrow, we're doing that, because that is... A, it shortens the episode length a little bit, because um, it's not a full-on social link. But also, you know, it just works. Because also, Yukiko's like the best party member I can get, so... Hmm. Anyway, now I've been a while since we've heard this while walking to school. So, you overhear students talking. I feel so tired going to school. So sleepy. I can't believe I was early for class every single morning until about a month ago. You're so lucky compared to me. I've been studying for my entrance exams all summer. By the way, I'm so relieved that they caught the guy behind those murders. I'm surprised he turned out to be a student. I've seen so many shows interviewing the police by now. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> I, I don't know what those voices were. Anyway, class is ended for today. Woo! Okay. Into town we shall go then. Okina is on the agenda. Which works even better, because it's raining, so... Mm. And again, Yukiko should get, like, all the good chicks. It's a regular movie, which levels her up, gives her extra stats. But also one she wants to see, which should, in theory, be amazing. And she isn't ready to rank up in social links. So any points we get from this should be, mmm, heavenly. So, a movie... That'll be at Okina, right? Yeah. yeah, I can make it. What great timing. I was just thinking of something to do. I'll see you there. Okay. So you want to see this movie, so you should... You should rank up. Like, the regular way, and then some more. Right, well, let's see what we get then. You feel the constantly smoldering dread from watching the heroine gradually go insane from the curse. You enjoyed watching the movie with Yukiko. Something inside of Yukiko changed in response to the movie. So, regular level up stuff, extra bonuses. That was good. That was scary but thrilling. I love how they never explain why the power to curse people to death ended up in people's cell phones. That slight irritation level is just right. It keeps you intrigued. Yukiko seems to have really liked the movie. We should go again sometime. Still not ready to rank up though, which is like, bruh, why? 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 It's fine. It's fine. You're back. I am back, yes. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. But I do not wish to work as a janitor at the hospital today. I, in fact, wish to work, as the kids would say, on my homework. <laughs> ah, look at him go. So, one ping. Only one ping. It's like, I want, I want my two pings back so I get more stuff out of studying. And it's like, yeah, I could read books to improve it, but I'm not sure if I want to. Either way, we hanging out in the school. Who do we wish to hang out with, then? It's like, I'm half tempted to push Yukiko towards being finished, but you guys are also close to being wrapped up. And, sure. Right, well, we'll, we'll go to practice with Kone Daisuke, then, because it's been a while since we've hung out with those guys. And, okay, so yes, Nami here, hi, Jim. And our thing increased to rock solid. So, Samagawa Riverbank. Ko wanted to be by the river, so you stopped by on the way home. This place brings back all the memories. The first time I came here was also my first time in town, right after the Ichijo family took me in. The sky was totally clear except for the setting sun, and the light hitting the water made it shine. It was beautiful. It helped me decide something. From now on, I am an Ichijo. I convinced myself that the old me was dead. At least, that's what I thought. <laughs> but you were just a kid then, right? <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? A little kid thinking like that? But I guess even kids have stuff on their minds sometimes. Funny thing is, I never really became an Ichijo. I looked sad that an acted like one, but it was just a mask I wore. And now I don't have to wear that mask anymore, I guess it's time to step off the stage. 
You're going to leave? What do you mean? Or jump? don't jump to conclusions? What do you mean? I don't know what I mean either. I don't have a clue what to do with myself. <laughs> it just makes me feel kind of empty knowing that both my real parents are dead. It's like I have no roots. <laughs> you should go visit their graves after practice sometime. I don't even know where to find them. I've got the letter, but whoever wrote it didn't sign it. They didn't mention my parents' names either. Whoever handed you over to the orphanage wrote that letter, right? Wouldn't that mean they've been holding on to it for like 10 years? It's pretty rough asking someone to remember what happened 10 years ago. 10 years ago. You're still carrying that thing? Well, yeah, I can't let know what the house sits, so. Oh. Huh, uh, the name on the front, Kosama, is smeared. Like, someone rubbed their hand against it. Maybe they just wrote it in a hurry? And I pulls the corner of the envelope is short enough to give you a paper cut. What do you think? It was stored well, the letter was swapped, or it was written recently. You think so too? What does that mean? I think the head of the orphan miniature must have written it. When I visited, she probably could tell I was depressed. Uh, but hey, cheer up, man, even if it is a fake. Uh, it, it sounds about to call it a fake, but still, uh, uh, she didn't do it to pull a fast one on you. No, you've got it all wrong. I'm happy. I'm glad that there are such nice people out there in the world. Maybe the letter is true, or maybe it's just a nice lie, but it's all the same. Someone was there to give birth to me, and someone was there to raise me, and someone is there to watch over me like this. I thought I had no roots, no ties to anybody, but that's not true. <laughs> Took you long enough to get the picture, stupid. Stupid, I know who you are, but what am I? Oh, I'm the one who told you that you'd always have us. Stupid. Uh, well, I'm rubber, your glue. Ko's eyes are red, but he's laughing. It seems you were able to support Ko when he needed you most. Rank 9, we've got one more rank left. I like these guys, they're just chill and nice to hang out with. <laughs> Man, you've got a really ugly mug, you know, you know that? Wanna go for a swim, ugly? It'll be like old times. <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, we used to play around here, didn't we? Right. How about you? You wanna go for a dip? No way. <laughs> what? Like you have a choice. <laughs> Whoa, it's freaking cold! You horsed around in the river with Ko and Daisuke and then went home. One more rank of that, and I believe that'll be the first social link I max. It's a good social link, that. I like that. Welcome back. Thank you. Anyway, you know the drill for when it's night time. Night time is study time. Which we shall now do. At the desk. Like so. Seriously, I just want to be like a druid in terms of knowledge. So, dot dot dot, your knowledge has increased. I've read some dictionary entries as well. Piqued our interest, got some more knowledge. And we are, as the kids would say, flying. You have the day off from school today, what should you do? I don't know, but we'll pin it down as time goes along. Hello, this is Yukiko. Can I meet you today if we have some free time? Check social link rank. Rank 9. Okay, do I feel like I'm gonna come closer to her? Because if so, yes. It's like she came in knowing I was about to max Ko and Daisuke. But sure. I'll see you in a bit. You decided to go out with Yukiko. If she doesn't rank up now, I'd at least like to hope that the next time I hang out with her she will, because I'd like that. Right, Sam and Goa plane. The box lunch Yukiko brought looks Don't delicious. It's good. It looks pretty good. You decided to close your eyes and shove it into your mouth. It's delicious! Is it good? Really? Thank goodness. Well, of course it is. Half the cooking was done by the head chef. He took over again. But he told me I've gotten a lot better. I'm also thinking of continuing my studies for a job license. I don't plan to leave anymore, but I thought I might as well. I'm glad I realized sooner. If I'd struck out on my own, I know I would have regretted it. I wanted to become completely self-sufficient, but I think I was being presumptuous. I have the inn. I have my family. I have the waitresses and chefs. I am who I am now because I was raised by such a kind group. 
when I think of it that way, my problems aren't just my own. That's why I'm going to stay here by my own will. That's good. Well, now we'll do good work. Yukiko's strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weakness has awakened her true heart's true power. Yukiko's persona has been reborn. Konohana Sakia has transfigured into a Matarasu. This is my new power? The power you've shown to me. The power I will treasure. I want you to have this. You obtained a shrine charm. It's a charm from that shrine to protect you. Thank you. Mm. Yukiko is smiling gently. I think of you as an irreplaceable friend. No matter how far apart we are, even if we never meet again, that feeling will never change. You're dear to me. You can feel Yukiko's pure, simple emotion. You feel a strong bond between you and Yukiko. Which means, yes, we have maxed out our first social link, that of the Priestess. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a true bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Skanath, the ultimate form of the Priestess Arcana. The Yukiko Amagi social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Yukiko Amagi social link. The power to create personas of the Priestess Arcana has reached its maximum. You now Akami has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering this Priestess social link, you can now fuse Skathak the Mentor. Yukiko's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. Evade Ice. Okay! Triples evasion rate to ice. Um, we'll do... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Huh. We'll do fire break. So we can do other things with Yukiko. But evade ice is very nice. I've never known any boys who I could call close friends. I'm very happy. Let's talk, shall we? You spent a long while talking with Yukiko while we could sing her boxed lunch. Hmm. First social link done, and it feels feels damn good, man. You're back. I am back. The fridge is full of food. Interesting. Up the stairs we go. It's like, I, I, to be fair, I could also eat it with common dice guy. Fine. Fine. I'll try. I will, I will try to make something from the fridge. <laughs> you open the fridge. There's a variety of food. Spend the evening making lunch. Yes. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make carrot and burdock root kinpra. You decided to make it. Dot dot dot. You finished stir frying the roots and the carrots. How should you give it a flavor? Sugar and salt, miso and vinegar, soy sauce and mirin. Soy sauce and mirin? Mirin? Try. You smell an aromatic scent from it. It came out perfectly. It looks delicious. Obtained tasty kinpera. Oh hell yeah. We're just that good at cooking, man. And now we get to share it with someone and boost their social link, which it seems to me to make sense to go for Cohen Dice case, so. We shall do just that. You overhear some students talking. You know, I don't really the, see the police in town anymore. I've seen some on the news that there are still some loose ends to this case, but the police are ready to end everything. The what? You mean those murders? Why are you still thinking about stuff from that far back? Ignore that. The school trip starts on Thursday. Both the first and second years are going. I might end up being in the same group as Rosette. I'm looking forward to it. Sheesh, never cared about idols until now. Okay, so yes, yeah, Thursday, so Wednesday night, which is not too far off, and we save. So, looks like we're having quite an eventful year, it's so weird. After the murder incidents, an idol comes to town and a detective shows up too? This town used to be so carefree, every year it was more of the same until this year came along. Anyway, I'm supposed to cover Haikyuu today, get out your textbooks. Haikyuu, like Senryu, contains Kigo, which words or phrases that can be associated with a particular season. Alright, why don't I test the waters with a Kigo-related question, you chum? 
Which of the following is a kegelful fall? Brisk rain, peaceful sunset. You get the answer you think is correct? Well, I don't blame you for getting this one wrong. Absolutely nobody cares about Kigo in our daily lives. More brisk is an adjective usually used regardless of a season. This is a fall, Kigo. So if you're writing a haiku, don't use that word to describe a season. This isn't fall. Damn. Like my little knowledge points. No, I just want knowledge points, man. I just want knowledge points. Anyway, lunch break. Oh, who would you like to invite for lunch? Others. Um, we would like... Ko. I feel it makes sense to invite him, because he's close to ending his, um, social link, so, you know. So, yes, Agami, hi, rooftop. You ate lunch with Ko and Daisuke. You ate tasty Kinpira together. Oh, this is great. You make this yourself? I'm pretty good in the kitchen, but you just showed me what's up. Ko, enjoyed your lunch. Not, 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 not even gonna become close as soon, just... You ate... So, yo, sup, sensei. Are you on your way home? Teddy's sitting there with an exaggerated nonchalance. Man, I get all excited when school's over. This feeling of freedom is like such a rush. What are you doing here? I'm visiting. I wanted to see what it's like to be a student. I wanted to know more about the school and the thing that everyone goes to. And it's much more fun than I thought it would be. One day wouldn't be enough. Hee <laughs> hee. It seems Teddy plans to keep coming to school from here on out. You hope this doesn't cause any problems. Oh, it will. It will. No doubt it will. But I'll find the let it happen for the funnies. Anyway, who should we hang out with them? It's like, I'm not, it doesn't tell you what days people are available, but, um, I kind of want to hang out with Kanji if available. So, he's in practice building. Keep it nice and spread. If not, we know Yosuke is available, but it's like... If I, yeah, I'm, if I keep him or not, it's still, like, up in the air to me. Um, so, we'll do... Yeah, we'll go, we'll go, go into town, actually. Uh, quick, we see if a Dachi baby is hanging around. Again, I'm running very quickly. Okay, no, he's not here. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, I guess I'll hang out with someone from school, I guess. It's like, okay, let's see. Um, I pinned it in some old Discord DMs, by the way. That's why, like, walking it up is so cumbersome. It's like, yeah, I could save it somewhere else, but I don't. So, September 1st, the 19th, and 20th, and 21st. Yes, it wish, wish we, we've just missed him. I don't know what to think about him. Oh, Senpai. About this case. No, I forget I said anything. It seems Naruto's deep in thought about the murders, but won't talk to you about it. If you had more knowledge, he might act differently towards you. Interesting. And that's all I will say. Anyway, yo, Skay, looks like you're up. Can I talk to you for a minute? There's something I want to say. He seems tormented, so sure, we will spend time with him. Samagawa Riverbank. You want the tear with a pensive Yosuke. Yosuke is holding something. I found this. It's a print club sticker I took with Saki Senpai. When she first got here, she insisted on taking it. Back then, somewhere inside me, I thought I was above this place. All the people saw me as the enemy because Juness was going to ruin the shopping district. But when I met her, she told me, Parents are parents. You're you. Even if she didn't mean it, it made me real happy. Because of her, I started to think maybe this town wasn't all that bad. But then... She died. Why? Why did she have to... That pisses me off. Makes me mad. I wanted to talk with her more. I wanted to get to know her better. But uh, she's not here anymore. Yosuke is sobbing out loud. I get it now. I wanted to forget about Saki Senpai. How she's not here anymore. I wanted to forget that. I was living a boring life in the middle of nowhere. When the murder started, I got excited. I thought maybe there was finally a point to me being an Inaba. I thought I could forgive Senpai when she was gone. The fact I was such a loser. I jumped at the murders and never once thought about what I was doing. I didn't even take the first step. I'm sorry, Psyche Senpai. I'm sorry, you. Don't apologize. But I got you involved with the case. No, I was run away from myself. Your gaze looking at you, eyes red. But I think I'm awake now. I need to get over the fact that Saki Senpai isn't coming back. That when this case ends, I'll have nowhere to run. And I would have changed. You make me realize that. 
You seem as you're, it seems you're able to act as Yosuke's crutch. You feel a new bond between you and Yosuke. Or stronger bond, whatever you want to call it. Bringing us up into rank 8. What if social links taking place at the riverbank today? I must say. Anyway, you have learnt diorama. Thank God. Get in your loadout. Phenomenal. You spent a while with Yosuke and walked him home. Okay. So, coming into the last day of the video, too. Okay, but the fifth, so we've got two more. And of course, you know what we're going to do in the evening because we are just so smart. We are going to. What? Hello, this is Ruise. Hey, when do we go to Teddy's place tomorrow? I know the criminal was arrested, but we can still go in there, you know. Plus, I don't feel relieved yet. I don't want to see you. No, 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 no. Flat out refusal. And into studying we shall go. Okay, and I still not still not getting angry said. I need max knowledge. And something else I'm pretty sure as well. <laughs> um, in order to go out with this um so social link we still haven't unlocked. Little jo joker tendencies are ongoing here, ladies and gentlemen, I must say. Um it's raining though, which means we can't hang out with anyone. But we can go into town and um buff someone using the movie. Which is fine by me. Um, who we're gonna buff, though, I don't know. It's like, hmm, part of me wants to... Hmm. Because I'm not sure, because we are yet to get our final uh, two party members. So, it's like, invite a friend to the movies. Someone else. Yes, yeah, so it's just these guys I can invite. I'm going to invite Kanji, because I intend to keep him on the team as well. And I don't think I'll keep Yosuke forever. So, hey, senpai, sup? The movies? The place in Okina, right? Yeah, 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 I've got a bike. I'll take a while. Let's see what, let's see what you like, then. Okay, you and Kanji take in a movie together. Do, do you think you ever gets tired of seeing the same movie so many times? It's like, it's no Morbius. <laughs> you enjoyed watching the movie with Kanji. Something inside of him changed in response to the movie. So he leveled up. He got a leg break. Um, North Eyes 1 fills electric resistance. Again, gonna forget that because I don't see the point. And various bonuses were granted, such as strength, uh, magic, and endurance. Not that bad. I usually watch all my movies on TV. It's way better than at the theatre. We should go again. Oh, this will be different at the theatre. Or way better at the theatre. Yep. Clearly, I don't know the English language. You're back. I am. Anyway, up the says we shall go, because you know exactly what we're going to do. So they said it starts on Wednesday, so yeah, Tuesday. Going to get one more night of studying in before we go on the school trip. And no luck. No dice. It's like, give me, give, give me my thing, please, please, please. <laughs> I just, I just. Ooh, you don't see this place much. Okay. Yo, so are you ready for the trip yet? This guy won't shut up about it. <laughs> Yosuke senpai hasn't even started packing. He's all like, oh, was that tomorrow? What's up with that? You are way too excited about this. I mean, you're even worried about how many boxes of animal crackers to bring. We're only going to be there for two nights, dude. Besides, I'm pretty sure they have convenience stores in Port Island. Are you serious? I've never really left this place, so... Huh. I wonder if the murders here got as much play over there, too. Like that Mitsuo Kubo dude. They're still showing him on TV here. Every time I switch on the tube, the news is showing, like, what he wrote in his yearbook. This is me off, man. The freaking media slapping together anything they can find to make the dude look like a born criminal. People think they can say anything they want about a guy who's been branded a criminal. It's just not right. I agree. I mean, I still hate the guy's guts, but I don't know. After getting involved with all this, I started to realize how off base most rumors are. It's so messed up. Well, I gotta admit. The news can be pretty out there. Hey, it's Naoto. Yo, how's it going? Good morning. Oh, yeah. I I'm on duty today. <laughs> well, see you later. <sighs> He's the messed up one. <laughs> oh, is, there a, is there a problem, Kanji? Anyway, who wants to hang out with us this fine lunchtime? So, Kanji, 
as one thing to it. Yeah, sure. Sure, I've been invited out by Kanji, I may as well. Like I said, I plan to keep him on my team, so it's like, why not? Why not? And we invited him out to the movies yesterday, too. We can... Okay, we probably won't talk about the movie, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so, um, have free time, gonna become closer, let's go then. Into untread social link territory. Samagora of the bank. I can't get this place out of my head. I keep wondering if that rabbit kid tossed that might have washed around the shore here. If he finds it now, he'll just feel bad. Not that I'm waging it today or anything. Hey, mister! There you are. Sunnashan was really happy. I've been looking for you ever since. <laughs> Look, quit keep calling... Uh, forget it. Uh, can you make me some more, mister? My mom really wants one. Sunnashan's mom does too. They said they'll pay you. Pay me? Oh, well, I don't need that. I ain't a pro like at this. My mom wants a cat, and Santa Chan's mom wants a dog, and my teacher wants a pink alligator. A pink alligator? Oh, like the one in that storybook, huh? Uh, fine then, I'll get around to it sometime. Uh, thank you, remember, you promised! <sighs> Strange situation I got myself into, ain't it? You're not happy? Hmm, I don't really know. Kanji's tilting his head. When I was in elementary school, I fixed the classmates back this one time. Thinking back, I guess I liked her. All I did it to make her happy, but the next day, all the girls were making fun of her. Oh, she cried. I don't understand why, but you know, I thought I'd done something wrong. So I never thought I'd be thanked for doing this stuff. <laughs> Feels good. Here and thank you. I like it. Kanji is laughing sheepishly. You feel you understand Kanji even better. Which means... We are rocking up to rank 6. Uh -huh. Okay, and ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba, affects your persona power. Okay. Uh, for context, I didn't level up Kanji in my original playthrough, and now I immensely wish I did. Fucking power charge. That's like, I'm sorry, doubles damage of next physical attack! Yeah! Normal. It's like, okay, electric boost, dizzy boost, ooh. Okay, um, we'll do this, because I'm never going to use Fatal End, but I will use Torrent Shot, but Power Charge, we need. That it will, that will be heavenly. So, oh, well, I got a jet. I have to go to Okina Station, to the uh, fabric shop, I'm out of materials, so, uh, later. Mm. Good game. You watched Kanji go and went home. Yeah, and that brings us into the evening, where we're going to end this one here, so if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, it'll help us with a bunch, let's know you want to see more of this, and all that good stuff. But, until next time, let's set it all aside, I really hope you've enjoyed, because I certainly have, well, the long, but I'm vibing. So thanks for watching, guys, my name's been Rabbit and Peace, out.